<laughs> so, anyway, X Factor. We've got a fabulous guest in this evening, and we've got the lovely Charlize from season one of the X Factor. <laughs> well, season one, but not in the final, because people always think they might not recognise your name, but it is an unusual name, so they it might is, do. Yeah. But you were actually in Sharon's boot. You got as far as boot camp in yeah. Sharon's group. Do you not remember us, Harry? I do. I remember her face, but I can't. Your hair's changed since then. It was awesome. straight that day. Yeah. That's right. And yeah, very, but because it's a radio show, it's not straight today. No, it's it's very curly. And it's <laughs> very, very curly. I actually prefer it curly. It looks nicer. Thank you. Yeah, it looks what very was she nice. wearing? Say that. She was wearing a short little dress. <laughs> well, yeah. It was short dress and very tight as well. No way. Yeah. Never. Yeah. We got a boot camp. Yeah. No, never. And then, <laughs> and then, because you know we had, uh, you get new You know we had weird or? beard with us as well as a, the judge. Weird. Mark just Hudson. Let him, let him Mark Hudson. No, it's a judge. Is yeah, it, it's Mark a vocal coach. Yeah, because we don't forget we were all oh, judging. Oh, your little yeah, yeah, in your little thing. Yeah. Yeah, Mark Hudson there. That's right. Was it in a theatre? Yeah, and it? he was looking up at her and she flashed him a bit of a tip. She <laughs> did. Yeah, she yeah, got a boot. <laughs> did you have birds in the chest? <laughs> oh, God. So where was it? Where was it? Oh, was it, um... it was at a theatre. Yeah, do you not remember where? No, I don't Hackney actually. Theater. Hackney Theatre. Hackney Theatre, there I we go. I need to remember. So what, so what happened then? You got to... When you first I auditioned... I think I got through to the, um, the second round of boot camp. So like the second day. I don't know how it worked, your group. Our one, we stayed an extra day. No, no, no. It was one day, but there was two auditions in the one day. Oh, uh, we stayed over was it low budget? That, yeah. Not mine. No, it wasn't. Well, you went the, you we had the, the show. <laughs> we went, you know, we were at, you know, we were at the Landmark, yeah. I, uh, ho at the hotel we stayed at, but we didn't go to LA like they do now, did we? I know. But yours was the Oh, that same, was Judge's house. You were in the same year, no? Yeah. Yeah. Same year, but I had Simon. We didn't have him. Oh, right. Okay, <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what you call him. <laughs> no, didn't have him. <laughs> so... <laughs> at least you <develop. laughs> <laughs> Alicia did have him, yeah, my friend. <laughs> Sorry. Really? Yeah, really. Yeah. And she said he's very good, but he folds his clothes up first. <laughs> Are you joking? No, I yeah. can imagine that, though, can't you? OCD. No, I... I <laughs> <laughs> he must have a... Imagine, I just can't imagine him doing it at all. Uh, really? Like, no, I, I, I would think you'd have him. to un undress him for... I, I would have thought you'd, you'd have to take his clothes off for him. I wouldn't have thought you'd have got as far as his clothes, or it'd be zip. Not to bed. <laughs> anyway, back to Charlie. Yes, <laughs> it's all about you. Sorry. <laughs> so, so, what was it? So, a lot of people don't know that when they're auditioning for X Factor, it's through lots of different rounds. There's, was there two? And then we saw the judges, I think, the first There's year. There's definitely two, or maybe even three. Because I think it's almost like to so get to boot camp team. out of all the thousands that enter is brilliant anyway, yeah, isn't fantastic. it? Especially if you're not if you're not dressed as a banana or you've not got a, a novelty like me, well, drunk. <laughs> unless, <laughs> no, unless you're not some kind of novelty actor, it's great. Yeah, I think that year there was fifty thousand. Yeah, oh, wow, yeah. there's more now. It's probably about close for uh, a million now, yeah. isn't it? Well, yeah, there is. Um, and I think I got right down to. I think if I'd have gone through the next round of boot camp, I would have been into the last twenty-seven. Okay. Terry, you should have, you should have chatted up Terry. Terry, you should have stuck so, up for her. You know, there's so many people there, and I, it was really bizarre oh, as Roberta, well. Roberta, you were Roberta, the under twenty-five, yeah. weren't you? Yeah. So don't forget, she, she's, she's very Roberta-ish, isn't Simit, she? Really? Yeah, and even and with you the know music, what yeah. yeah. So that's what they do. So then, what happened during, during the first year with Charlize? Charlize was um, auditioning as I did. We got through to boot camp. I did too. And there was a guy on um, on one of the forums, the X Factor forums. This is how I got to know you and your mum. Um, one of the X Factor forums called Muggy. And he was slagging me off. He'd met me at boot camp and he said, Rowetta's this and she's that. This is why I don't go with Steve Brookstein. Muggy is Steve. Yeah, yeah. And he told me he was Muggy and I was Roxy. And we said, I'm Roxy, I'm Muggy. He went, oh, it's you. And then went straight after that and slagged me off. <gasps> and then Charlize's mum, Kim, put some, um, not YouTube, was it just musical clips yeah, up, yeah. didn't they? And said, this is my daughter. You know, she's really, really good. Um, let us know what you think. And loads of positive comments. And then this Muggy... I kept some phrases, what he said, just to show his fans what a horrible per they were Did you ever see them? I never saw them, though. So, Muggy is Steve. Yeah. Right, okay. They were absolutely it was vile. Yeah it, yeah, it wasn't. He's admitted it was. Yeah. But they were absolutely vile. So, me and your mum... Nora Batty, no? Oh, worse Nora. than that. You said I look like Nora Batty. You said you look like Nora... Like... I can't remember what you said to me. No, it was really... She looks like Nora... like Nora Batty? I mean, God, you said, you look like Nora Batty? <laughs> On the website, Charlize... It was Charlize... Charlize is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful blonde girl, right? Yeah. Picture in black and white. Beautiful picture. It was, though. Didn't, you're not going to put up a horrible picture of yourself and you're pretty anyway. And then... A beautiful, beautiful singing. His kind of music as well, actually, because his wife's a jazz That's singer. Right, quite yeah. jazzy. Re absolutely slated your voice, slated the way you look. Is that what he's th really nasty? Why does he criticise people? And I people was saying, for? this is such a nasty man. I can't believe that people don't know what he's like. And Sharon, Sharon was, did. Sharon <laughs> did as well, but people didn't. Now they're seeing it. Yeah. And he's like that all the time now. Hasn't he people. tried to make a comeback through this? He's doing that exactly well, what yeah. he's doing. And I mean, we are bad. 
uh, talking about him, but I don't care because I want everyone to know he really, really was. But he is horrible, horrible, mm. horrible man. He's yeah, a. I never had the pleasure of meeting him. You know that swear word. We can't say on air, don't you? Anyway, see you, see next, you next Tuesday. Tuesday. Steve. That one. <laughs> that's, that's what he is. <laughs> so, so you went. You entered again. Was Sharon still? Do you enter again the following year? Um. No, I can't remember. I went I remember last your mum, year. I remember your mum kept wanting you to do it again and you didn't want I know. to. I know. And she said, Charlize won't she do it. She made me go the first oh, time. No. I'm like, no, no, no. But no, I went last year and I didn't even get through the second round. Oh. I got through the first round. Did you want to do it last year? Well, I was kind of like umming and ahhing, more kind of, you know, influenced from other people. And, um... Yeah, I didn't sing particularly well, but then when they asked me, um, do you think you could win the X Factor at first, I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely, you know, mm -hmm. lying through my teeth. And then I was like, well, actually, um, if you compare myself to Alexandra Burke, no, I don't think I could win. <laughs> well, that's oh, not right, yeah. though, because well, everybody's different. No, I They've know. been Leon Jackson, completely different, mm. um, yeah. Joe McKeldry. I know the boys, haven't, the boys haven't done well at all, anyway, no, not have they? At all. But, I mean, the girls, Diana Vickers, has done well, really she's well. She's coming back completely now. Different. I love her record. Do you? Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Actually, we've got to say she's done. C congratulations! Really? Number she's one album, better. number one singer. I, 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 I love she's the chorus better. of a song, mm. "The Boy Who Murdered Love." <laughs> she murdered the first <laughs> single. <laughs> no, but I, I, she's I, probably I like a nice girl. Song. And you know what? I'd, lo I'd love her to come in on the show because I bet she's a really nice person. But she can't. We're just not fans of her. No, as long as she doesn't sing. Yeah, but everybody else likes her. I know. I've just no. Do you know what? I don't think they do. I've never met anybody till now that does. What's been number one? I just. People, People must like her. I didn't like her when she was on X Factor. I, I didn't mind her. Until she did, she did take that, and then I was like, oh no. I thought, because I like the quirkiness, yeah. but then I, I like the cranberries, and it sounded like an impersonation of the she cranberries. She sounds just like her. You no, know, she sounds just like her when I was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you're going to sing for us tonight. I am, no. yeah. So we're really looking forward to that. Because what is it you're doing right now? Because you'll end up saying, you won't say goodbye. I know what you're no, doing. No, I don't want to say goodbye to her. I'm having to talk to her. Right, go on. <laughs> I know you like her. <laughs> it does the old song. I go, we've not said goodbye yet. <laughs> anyway, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So you're going to sing for us tonight. What are you going to sing for us? Um, not until she's thinking <laughs> it, you shouldn't say that. I'm asking what she up to first. Oh, okay. Because mum's listening. <laughs> because when you ask what they're singing, the, the, everyone wants to hear her sing then. Oh, yeah. So what sort of music is it you do sing and what do, are you doing right now <laughs> that you want to plug? <laughs> See, everybody thinks I'm butting with Rowetta and she's butting in with no, me. No, that's for guests because you don't want to get worded. <laughs> <laughs> this is our in-depth interview <laughs> technique. <laughs> We're like Parkinson, aren't we? Spitting too. <laughs> <laughs> Parkinson's disease. We're Meg Ryan. <laughs> 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 Meg Ryan interview. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. Now, what is it you're doing now? And is, is singing what you want to... Is that you, what you really, really want to do and nothing else? Or? Um, well, I'm busy with a few things at the moment. I teach. I'm teaching uh, foreigners English at the moment. Oh, and I oh teach Spanish fit ones? as well. Um, well, they're aged 11 to 17, so... <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you have been the question, Any of the 16-year-olds good looking? Uh, I can wait a few years. actually, yeah. Give, give them a Facebook. <laughs> and then I realised that I'm 10 years older German. than them now, so it's like... Are, are you in the older group then in X Factor, have you entered? Uh, last year, yeah, I was in the oh, older group. Because yeah. he didn't put through oh. any females over 25 last no, year. No, he didn't, did he? I'd have killed him. <laughs> but he didn't even get to see me anyway, did he? It was no, just the production true. team. But do you know what? I think that was because, like you just said, you weren't actually 100% wanting to Completely, go through it. Yeah. And I think you've got to be 100% committed to, to, to want to do those sort of shows. So I think if you, your gut instinct isn't there, you shouldn't have gone in the I first place. I don't know place. that Steve Brookstein didn't seem like he was. And my year is fly, that's why. He, play, he played the no, and card. I was drunk and we came like the top man and woman mm. and I was drunk on man I saw you on yours <laughs> I was in Leeds and you came you were actually there I was there I no I was, <laughs> yeah because you went barging down. I saw Rowette she was like top to toe in black leather and she went I remember bounce, that. bouncing through the there. bouncing through the hallway, and everybody said, "Everybody was going bloody oh, What's going on here? What's going on here?" Thought it was going to be disaster, disaster. And then she went in and started singing, and everybody went, "Oh well, no, they didn't." It wasn't they did. Were you actually drunk? Yeah, completely. It was, it was no, no, not completely because of the nicotine patches. <laughs> smoking. No, the bar opened at two, and I was supposed to be seen at five past. But I didn't get seen till five to six. <laughs> I didn't get seen till five to six, and the bar had been open since two. And I thought I'll have one for Dutch courage, and I went to the shop and bought a bottle, and then. I stuck on another nicotine patch that I didn't want to smoke. <laughs> I know it's the nicotine patch that stood up and I was like, whoa, I can't see anything. Is that why you picked a fight? 
With who? With, uh, well, you didn't pick a fight, did you? No. At all. I didn't pick were... a fight with anyone. Did, did Louis you... said it was dreadful, and I went, okay, Louis thank said you. To me as well. Louis said um, that I looked very passe. Oh, no, I, if you look at my <laughs> audition, there was no fighting. I was just no, going, you please, fighting, I was begging. You were begging, because yeah. they said no, didn't they? Yeah, no, and don't make me beg, but I beg, please, <laughs> my last chance. <laughs> but I, was, I would never say that for so, but. <laughs> <laughs> I just got under the table and sorted Simon out. <laughs> So there you are, Shalise. You didn't beg enough. Shalise. No, I know, I know. <laughs> no, you shouldn't beg. And I know I've seen people copying since trying the begging thing. It just doesn't work. Well, it worked with you, didn't it? I've stunk a whiskey. No, <laughs> do you know what, though? I, I spoke for so long because, you know, they edit it all down. As opposed yeah. to you never did, did you? 19 minutes without stopping. <laughs> never. 19 minutes You're without joking. Stopping. They had to edit it. <laughs> you, you were in the audition room for 19 minutes? No, just the talk. I talked talk without being butted into. I was going, I was going, and Sharon, you must understand. understand my ex-husband was a drug addict. <laughs> and I love John. I was going on and on and on. So the cut loads of it. I was trying to get the judges to relate to me. And that's when Louis went, oh, dreadful. <laughs> He wasn't talking about the singing, it was just absolutely dreadful. So, but, yeah, you can't, you can't do that. So you're not ever going to enter X Factor or anything again, or is that it for you? I don't think so. You know what? I mean, like, Terry, well, guitarist I did behind, in my heart. No, he's got guitarist did behind and you know he's what? shaking you his head. You don't need to, you don't need <laughs> to now. Every time he's like, don't go on it, Charlie, don't it's go evil. on it. It's evil. You don't need to go on it anymore because you've come on us and everybody, you don't yeah, need exactly. to sing. Exactly. And you're gonna, you are going to sing for us. So, yeah, but to answer your question, I'm Thank just you. gigging, uh, <laughs> gigging loads at the moment. So whereabouts are you gigging in? Because you're from um, Lytham, I can't yeah, say it, Lytham. Yeah, Blackpool, Lytham, St Anne's. Snobby really Baker. Really. I was going to say, <laughs> you don't sound very broad. I said, really, no, because I'm from the posh end, apparently. Oh, that's yeah, what yeah, he says to me house. when I say I'm from Lytham. Oh, Ooh, the posh end. I think there's a cruising area but around anyway. there. <laughs> <laughs> and we've had chicken yeah, man on <laughs> next door to I me. won't advertise the chicken, but my dad's something to do with chicken, and we've had chicken oh, man on no. stay. <laughs> yeah, my son loves her dad's chicken. There oh, is really? a bit of a thing, there's a bit of a following Fried in Manchester chicken. for the chicken. Yeah, and, and your mum insists that it's me that, your mum thinks I love Alan's chicken, it's called, and it's not me that loves it, my son likes Alan's chicken. Oh, oh has he got a chip, a chip shop or something? What's he got? Um, a ch uh, like a fried chicken... Emporium. Shop, um, what do you call them? Fried chicken franchise. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. But they're all, good. they're all good, they're all good, Kentucky, <laughs> they're all good, Kentucky, crispy ones. Yeah. Greasy ones, all fried chickens, <laughs> all good ones. Yeah, we're good. not just sticking on one. But my son does like that one. He likes Kentucky as well. Mm. I think yeah. there's about five appreciation societies for it on Facebook. You're joking? Which is quite really? Funny. I, I wouldn't be surprised if your mum started them up. Though. I did. Um, <laughs> I went to a, I went to Salford Uni to do um, a press conference talk, and um, the amount of people that were going on about. Um, fried chicken, it was quite funny actually. So you don't really need to work. <laughs> <laughs> you should sing a few jingles for your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, manager in your own Alan's fried chicken. So you are going to sing for us now because that's what you've come yeah. for, really. Yeah. And um, I know you write loads of songs as well. But I, I, no, you do, don't you? No, not at all. Who said you write your if mum anybody, said you do? Uh, wants to send me a song, no, Matt's the writer. Uh, no, I know you Matt's... sing original songs, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt, who's with me today, he's going to play guitar with me. Mickey. Fabulous. Uh, Do you want to say hello, he's Matt? A, he's oh. a big writer. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness you didn't talk. I thought he was mute. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, thanks, Matt. Go and get behind you. You've just played guitar. We've got a gig tonight as well. You've got a gig. Where's your gig tonight? Um, in Chester at a place called Oddfellows. Another posh area. Okay. Oh. And then, uh, Liverpool as well, weekly. So. Oh, cool. What day are you in Liverpool? I'm at Liverpool Pride on Saturday. Um, I'm in Liverpool on Friday night. Oh, cool. Yeah. At the docks and then a place in Liverpool one. Well, that's posh as well. I would like to say hello to you. As you're, as you're, you go and set yourselves up. Sophisticated. Go and set yourselves up. And for you the song because I must say hello to your mum because she's listening in Spain in Hi, Marbella. Mom. Hi Kim. Um, thank you for um, asking. She was she was asking for Charlie to come on Opportunity Rocks and I said no. She's too. No, good. she's too good no, for that. No, no, not no. These other good. Everyone who's been on's been good. But I mean, she's, she's professional. She, no, she's too good considering she lives near us. Yeah. To be. Um, to be. She be Mm. They're, they've all been brilliant. Mazzy, Gregor, Ter Terry didn't mean we like, that. We know we like amateur ones to come on. Yeah, you've got to be amateur. She's done she's too, professional. She's done too that's much what work. I'm saying. Yeah, that's what Anyway, we're going to have another song while she sets up. Terry and Rowetta. Sponsored by Dia. Canal Street's busiest venue.